welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So today, after so many of you requested this video, I wanted to do a video on how to become a successful brand. So this definitely falls into the category of how to like become a successful blogger, YouTuber, and how to really become a brand and something people can relate to. And yeah, branding is so, so important when you start a business and when you become self-employed if you are the business. So I just want to point out that obviously I'm gonna share a lot in this video, but I also do have an Etsy course, which is available at my Etsy store, Emma Mumford. Again, it will be linked all down below of Start Blogging Your Way to Successes. So it has literally everything in it of technical side of stuff, literally a step-by-step -step guide of how to start a blog, how to start a YouTube, how to become a brand, and how to get brands to gift you. Um, it has contacts in there. It has literally so much. And I also wanted to cover in this video how we can use the law of attraction to also become successful. So my first tip would be be personal. It's really important when you're sharing content online and sharing things with your followers that it's personal, relatable, and the, you know, it comes from you. It's not just like, it's not like you've just gone on Google and found a script and read off that script. It has to be personal. You have to have like your personal flair in there, your own style, and it needs to be content that people can just really think like, wow, like I'm getting to know Emma here. And you know, and that's how people will subscribe. That's how people will follow. And that's how people will always come back to your content. Because if you're, you know, personal and share, you know, personal things, I'm not saying like share everything online. That is definitely not something you should do. Keep, keep your private life private, keep your relationships private, but you know, be personal about your life experiences, your work, what's got you to where you are today. Show those experiences because people want to feel inspired. People want to, you know, have something to aspirationally to look up to. And that's what I feel has really helped myself of sharing my journey and sharing how I've got here and sharing basically sharing what I've learned along the way because I didn't have like a mentor or someone to look up to or have someone guiding me along the way I've done everything off my own back I've created my own success off my own back and yeah I've literally I've just done it that's my number one thing I've just done it I've not like used anybody else's success I've not paid thousands into marketing to get myself to where I am. Like I've just turned up every day and done it. So talking about turning up every day is also part of being consistent. So the number one success to social media, to creating a loyal following and to creating your own brand is to be consistent. If you're not consistent, people can't be consistent with you. So I always make sure that on my social media, posts go out every single day, whether that's previous blog posts, previous YouTube videos, or I don't know, updates or information for people or even promoting my own products. I make sure that everything goes out weekly and that basically there is a post every single day which people can learn something from. Now, obviously in my type of business, it's, you know, inspirational, it is, you know, helping people and it's information that people can use in their own lives. So for me, giving people things to look at and read every day is really important because then they can develop and learn things for themselves every day. And the rule which I always have is like, I don't like to push my products on people. I don't like to push my life coaching on people. I just really like people finding that information for themselves. So yes, I do post it on my social media that I do all these things, but I don't put it in people's faces. I sometimes feel that YouTubers at the end of every video can be like, oh, by the way, buy my things, buy my merchandise, buy this, buy this, discount codes, buy this today. And like, that's just not what I feel comfortable. That's not how I roll. That's not what my ethics are. I always like to give the people the information and then they choose to do what they will with that information. If they want to buy something, they will. And you have to realize that your followers already know whether they're gonna buy from you. They know from whether they trust you. They know from whether you're authentic. So it's always a case of give the people the information and they will choose to digest that. And if they want to buy something, they will. You can't force people. And I'm also gonna cover later on how to use the law of attraction to obviously like manifest sales and manifest money and manifest followers. My third tip is definitely to create unique content. Now, you know, it's perfectly healthy to watch other people and watch your idols and to think, right, this is really cool. I'd love to incorporate some bits into my own work, but give them credit. If you are using other people's ideas and other people's techniques, 
give them credit because people will sniff a fake a mile off they will sniff if you're copying someone else in your industry and you know like I see a lot of people who like copy Tony Robbins or like copy you know like other motivational speakers and you just think you're not original you're literally a copy and people will see straight through it the strongest brands come from people who are unique who come from people who literally create their entire business around their personality their beliefs and their natural charisma so it's perfectly all right to share your experiences share your stories and you know share inspirational content but make sure it's you who is turning up it's not like a copy of Tony Robbins or it's not a copy of Gabrielle Bernstein it has to be you who turns up and even if you think you're cringeworthy even if you think oh my god people are gonna hate my voice they're gonna hate how I look I had all of those thoughts like many years ago. When I started YouTube four years ago, I totally had those thoughts, 100%. But now I realize that that's my strongest point. Like my personality, the way I talk, the way I look is what people love. So being you is the best thing you can do. And that leads me on to my next point, funnily enough, being you. So you have to be authentic. You have to have your own natural flair because like I said, copying other people is just so wrong. It's not authentic and it's not gonna make you feel accomplished at all in your career. If you can't turn up and say, I came up with these ideas, I put the effort in and I put the hard work and blood, sweat and tears into it and I did this by myself, you won't feel fulfilled. I'm not saying that help isn't gonna make you successful. Many people have help. You know, like I have a virtual assistant now who helps me to run my couponing business and helps me with certain social stuff like scheduling and content. But for me, you know, all my ideas, all my merchandise, all my designs, all my videos, everything comes from me. Obviously my followers do suggest video content and they ask me to do like Q and A's and stuff. That's fine, but everything comes from me. And that is, you know, if you're spiritual or if you do law of attraction, Action, you need to invite that intuition in. You need to ask the universe to bring you those ideas and say, right, what do you want me to talk about today? What do you want me to share with people and help people today? And you know, things do take time. I think a lot of people maybe copy people or, you know, go go off their own style because they think, oh, well, no one's following it. Obviously I'm not like, I'm just gonna go copy like Zoella and then it's all gonna work. It doesn't work. Even like copying video ideas, doesn't work because they've already been filmed. If Zoella has filmed a video or a tag or something, people are going to watch Zoella's video over you because it's Zoella, let's be honest. But by creating your own unique videos, nobody has watched them. And that's what draws people to watch your videos who don't already subscribe to you. And making videos that you want to make and you feel passionate about will be what drives you when you don't earn money on YouTube, when you don't earn money off your blog. By creating content that you're passionate about and you want to share with people and you're, you know, it's authentic authentic and it's you, it won't matter if you're earning money. And that's the next point, like don't worry about earning money. The money will flow where passion goes. That's always what I say. So if you want to do YouTube or you want to do blogging or you want to be self-employed or a life coach or motivational speaker, whatever it is you want to do, do it for the passion, do it for helping people, doing it for sharing your message and then the money will always flow always like that's exactly how I've started all of my businesses like they didn't earn money to start off with there was like not an obvious way to earn money and then simply by just turning up making the content being consistent and being me I've earned money from it and these are my full-time jobs now I'm literally selling my couponing business hopefully within the next few months which is an incredible achievement for me and that business is an incredible achievement for me over the last five years you know it's gone from simply an idea to a limited company a VAT registered company one of the biggest couponing and money sites in the UK and has over three 350,000 followers. I mean, that is a dream come true for me. And it's been amazing that I've been able to build that. So obviously a lot of my experiences with that business have taught me how to run this business now. And when I started this business of Emma, you know, the blog, the YouTube, life coaching, all the spirituality stuff, my merchandise, like I had none of those ideas to start off with. It was just my blog and my YouTube channel. And you know, those have developed naturally and through hard work, showing up, and by being me, that's what's made this a success. My next tip is don't compare yourself. It's so easy to compare yourself to other people in your genre. It's easy to like compare yourself to other people and be like, well, if they're getting followers and they're doing this, I'm rubbish. No, you are unique. Do not compare yourself because comparison is literally the number one killer for passion, for creativity. You cannot do it, it is like, 
disastrous. So when I first started, I did look at my competitors. I did look and think, oh, how have they got so many views? What are they doing? What am I not doing? And then I realized, but that's not me. I became so focused on what other people were doing. I wasn't focused on me. So my number one tip is to focus on yourself. Engross yourself with your own work. Don't worry what anybody else is doing. Don't watch what other people are doing because you need to be focused on your job, your career, your business, your work, because your work is you. Your work is what's gonna earn you money. By looking at other people, you're just gonna make yourself feel shit about yourself. It's not gonna help you grow. It's not gonna help you become a successful business person. So do you. So how can we use law of attraction to um, be a successful brand? Now, if you have no idea what the law of attraction is, please do check out my Law of Attraction playlist because it will be a very in-depth explanation whereas this is gonna be obviously a very small explanation because hopefully everybody who's watching this video already knows about it. So the Law of Attraction is about drawing things to you like attracts like and that we can have anything in this world we want to. I have 100% used the Law of Attraction in my businesses. Not so much my couponing business, that was very much just hard work, dedication and me learning and me showing up every day. But definitely my Emma business I have manifested like followers I've manifested awards I've manifested work opportunities being on tv um press money merchandise literally everything and we totally can do it it's not a vain thing to like manifest followers or manifest page views or manifest money you know we do it every day we manifest money anyway so but for me that's where like my main income comes from is from my videos my blogs life coaching, things like that. So it's not a bad thing to manifest that. And I knew that I wanted 10 life coaching clients when I was full time, once I'd sold my couponing business. I now have 10 and I'm still running the business. So thank you universe, just wasn't quite ready for that. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, a challenge which I've had to overcome and, you know, focus my energies in the right place at the right time. But, you know, I trust that that's my journey. I trust that this is what I meant to do. And I trust that, you know, once I sell the business, I'm already gonna have that established client base, which is really good. So definitely manifest, definitely use the law of attraction and spirituality to influence your work. You know, like I said, ask for intuition on creativity, what you should do, where you should go, what videos you should film. Use it as a tool to guide you because that's what I do. Like I wake up and I'm like, what video should I film today? And it comes to me. What podcast should I record today? It comes to me. So without fail, your intuition and your soul and the universe will guide you to content and what's best for you. And you know, something I like to do every day is to say to the universe, how can I be of service today? And then these video ideas come to me and all these things and then you guys put, oh my God, that's so weird because I literally needed this video. And it's just the universe working in an incredible way. So create a vision board, maybe for your business, have a personal one and have a business one. So if like, for me, like I've always wanted the 100,000 YouTube subscribers play button. So like, that's not my vision board and money and you know, having a book deal and things like that make a vision board of what you want to achieve in your career and in your brand and you know a brand isn't formed overnight you can't just wake up and say I am a brand but you can do if you want to do an affirmation that's a really good one but it does take time you know it was a business to start off with and then because I've incorporated me into it and you know followed all the steps I've spoken to you about that's what has created the Emma brand of many umbrellas of life coaching, merchandise, videos, blogger, everything. That is what the umbrella of Emma is. That is the brand now. And don't be afraid to be a brand. Don't be afraid to do what you love because, you know, I've sat so many times and worried about what people will think of me manifesting money or me manifesting this. And, you know, the more successful I've become, it's, you know, been like, will people judge me? And I'm like, no, I have worked so hard for this. I deserve this. This is what I meant to do. The universe is just rewarding me for sharing the message and sharing what I'm passionate about, which is helping people. But like I said, this is obviously like a 15 minute video. So I've covered quite a bit in there of like top tips, but if you want like a full blow by blow with advice and help, I do do life coaching, like I said. And I do also have my Start Blogging Your Way to Success course, which talks about all the technical side and is more focused on blogging and YouTube. So thank you guys for watching my video. I really hope this has inspired you and good luck with creating your brands because they're gonna be a freaking success. 
So thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Everything I've spoken about will be in the description box down below and I will see you in my next video, which will be next week. Lots of love, guys.